as well as the large assemblies in the vehicle, there are a number of sub-assemblies that control things like hydraulics and electrics. Um, this is one of them. It's called the rotary base junction, and it transfers the electrical power from the hull up into the turret, and it also governs the hydraulic power for the power traverse. It's quite an important piece of kit, and obviously after the amount of years it's been in the bottom of the vehicle, it's been covered in a lot of oil and rust and stuff that we've had to clean off. Typically, we get a picture uh, from our archive department, and that's sometimes all we get. And we have to sort of look at it and try and work out how the thing was built and then take it apart. Um, one of the ways we've had to do that with this, you can see that th this is the electrical side. There's eight circuits on there, and it's divided into sections which are separated by tufnel, uh, which is used as an isolator. It's made up of a number of layers, like a cake, that were friction fitted to the post um, on the rotary base junction. Quite a, a task to get these off without breaking them, uh, particularly when there are small um, washers in between, again used for isolating the electric circuits. Just taking a close-up at the hydraulic system now, the housing has a bearing in the top of it. Uh, which is secured by this locking ring. Inside it, there are two, one on, the uh, one on the bottom and one on the top, rubber seals. Now, when we inspected this, one of those was completely um, destroyed. So what we have to do now is source this one um, and get replacements uh, before we put it all back together. Okay, one of the other subsystems that we're working on is the cooling system. Um, the air is drawn through the radiators in order to cool um, the, uh, the engine. And this is one of the components that does that. Uh, the fans are both mounted, as I said, on the back decks under the radiators, and we've done quite a lot of work on these um, because it's important that they balance and they run correctly. Um, if, if they're running correctly, that's pretty good, considering there's no oil in it. Um, but there are damage to the oil seals, which we have to currently try to source um, and replace. As the other fans run pretty well, and you've seen a demonstration of that, this housing's received some damage um, due to the fan being damaged, uh, which has in turn caused the whole mount to cavitate. Uh, this has put the holes on the mounting out of round. What we have to do then is plug these holes uh, with a suitable material um, and then recenter them and drill them so that the mounts are uh, steady and complete. Also, we'll have to reprofile the um, bands on the blades in order that it runs in balance. Okay, these are uh, three more uh, parts of the sub-assemblies that we've done. Uh, the centre one that I'm holding now is a Travis control. Um, again, it's used with hydraulics. Um, it's got a safety lock on it to hold it in the off position. By gripping on the handle and turning it one direction or the other, that will um, rotate the turret in that given direction. What's good about this one too is the more demand you put in uh, up to a certain point, the faster the turret will rotate. This next one, is the driver's site, and just to orientate you, it would normally be the other way up within the vehicle. Um, this was uh, completely seized, and there are a number of the screws that were missing that we've had to remake. Um, there's still a little bit of work to be done on this with the leather handles and so on, uh, but now to all intents and purposes, it's fully functioning, um, and indeed, uh, uh, such things such as the blackout shutter are all working well. Final item then, it's a recuperator for the hydraulic system. Uh, this is precharges the hydraulic system and keeps the uh, pressure within uh, prior to the motor. Um, this has got a damaged piston that we're working on at the moment. Uh, I'm sure you agree, beautiful piece of kit um, that took quite a lot of um, sorting out.